Okay guys, it's time for the Synapse build video series. I'm going to start with the wing. And there are two methods for doing the wing, and I've done detailed videos on each of those. Uh, I'm going to keep them separate videos, but you can click on the link at any time to go directly to the video that suits your needs the most. Now either will get you the, the same wing, whether you build it as a unitary wing or a wing that you can fold and break down. The first method I'll describe takes a usual stock arm and wing, which is a 30 inch span, a nine inch cord, so seven inches airfoil and a two inch control surface and involves cutting a wedge from the leading and trailing edge of the wing tip and the wing root respectively so that you end up with this. Then at that point the spar is threaded through the wings and the wings are united. This is the hard part getting the spar in but if you're a builder who can put together an arm and wing really quick in your sleep or you've got some already built and you want to adapt it for the synapse, this is probably the build technique for you. This method also works great if you happen to have a radial arm saw or miter saw, which is great for cutting these angles, and also particularly if you have a metal arrow shaft that you can use for the coring process that creates the channel through the wing for the spar. But you can actually use a carbon arrow too, as I've done with this one. The second method I'll describe entails taking a piece of pre-taped Dollar Tree foam board, uh, two colors if you like, and cuts a wedge off the root of the lower surface of the wing first to establish the sweep angle. Then the entire wing is constructed around that angle. So go ahead and click the link anytime you feel like using method A or method B, and it'll take you to the build video using that particular technique to make your Synapse wing. Of all my designs so far, I think that the Synapse is the most amenable to improvements and modifications in the build process. So by all means, if you see a better way of doing something, in the process, do it and feel free to share it back with us. I'd also like to give some credit and thanks to some uh, other pioneers in the, in the foam board flying wing area. Uh, Templeton 89 and his Bodgy wing is a great RC Group's thread on that and some videos. Uh, Shrout 5 has done some work in this area with the fuselage under the flying wing. Uh, Niter 99 has got some nice airfoil uh, flying wings made out of foam board. Gabe Kadanoff. Uh, came up with the idea of the sliding battery tray for the fuselage, which I'll show in a later video. Being a private pilot with over 600 hours of flight time and weight shift trikes, I'm pretty familiar with the design considerations of the flying wing, including the use of or exclusion of taper, reflex, and washout. Now, what are some of the things that the Synapse does not have that are usually implicit in flying wings? Well, one is that the wing is not tapered. It's ideal to taper the, a flying wing for better stability and better stall resistance at the tips, but just for simplifying construction, I've left this a straight wing. I did do some experimentation with the uh, tapered wing like this, and I found that the wing area is about 11% larger with the tapered wing using a single piece of foam board versus the Synapse wing. But the geometry of this is much more complicated. There are many more cuts to it and I could rarely reproduce a symmetrical left and right wing and I just thought the extra work might not be worth it. If you are particularly adept at such geometry, the tapered wing might be good for you. Simplicity, probably the Synapse is a good option. Synapse also doesn't have washout. It's a complicated uh, build technique to get washout of a foam board wing and we simply make do by flying a little bit faster. So far I'm finding even with a straight wing, no washout, no implicit reflex, that this is a very easy to build wing and it flies actually plenty well and you can't beat it for the price. So this is two pieces of Dollar Tree foam board, one more for the fuselage and your vertical stabilizers and some odds and ends tape and glue is probably under $10 most of the time to build this plane. So the sequence of videos I'll do are first constructing the wing airfoil itself, either of the two methods, you can skip to that as you like. Then a follow-up video will include installing the servos and linking up the control surfaces with control horns. Then I'll do the fuselage in a video. And finally, the vertical stabilizers and various kind of trim issues and setting it up for flight. So thanks again, as always, for tuning in and having a look. I hope you consider building yourself a Synapse, have some fun with it, share some good ideas back with the community, and uh, certainly some videos are appreciated. Have a great day.